Hi there everyone, this is Stitch It Repeat. I'm Helen and you're watching my Friday Sews video and it's a catch up on what I've been up to this week. It's the second time I've been doing this, so I do hope you'll enjoy. So it's a bit deceptive to call it Friday Sews for me this week because I haven't actually sewn anything. So if you watched last week, you'll know I am planning to make another everyday blouse by Stitched in Wonderland which I did a test blouse for, loved, and now I am making a second one. I showed you the fabric so if you haven't already checked that out I will pop the uh, the link for the video and anything else I talk about in the description down below so please do go check that out after this video. I'm making a version with double gauze and it is all cut out so I'm ready I just haven't actually started sewing yet Similarly with the two fabrics I showed you for my toaster sweaters that I'm hoping to make. I've washed them because we had a lovely sunny day the other day and um, I don't know about you but I do like to wash and dry on the line if I can if ever possible because I seem to tumble dry most of the time. So I got those uh, fabrics out and washed them so they are ready. I just need to get a time to cut the patterns out and then I will probably sit and hopefully because they're similar colours sew the three of them up at the same time bit of bulk sewing so hopefully that will be coming up soon so this week really as I say no sewing but lots of sewing related stuff so firstly I wanted to do this one which is a review well not really a review just a, a shout out really for a pattern company and a lot of you may already know it a few other vloggers use them I've used them ever since they launched their website which I think was around October last year it may have been earlier anyway it's a company called Fabuloso and I love the fact that two things their paper is in between a big four tissue pattern and some of the independence paper like proper sort of printing paper it's in between so it's not as light and therefore flimsy as like the big four but it's not as big and bulky as the like, trying to fold up the printing type paper so it's a lovely pattern type paper i've had these ones and I wanted to remember to mention them because I've wanted to mention them before and I think I probably have mentioned them briefly but their customer service is fantastic so I only ordered these yesterday afternoon and I got an email from John within about half an hour or so saying that they'd received my order and then another email shortly after saying that my order was completed and that I would receive it today or very soon after so you can't fault the service, can you? That's fantastic. I literally bought some patterns yesterday, but well, I'll get them printed, <laughs> sent them off to Fabuloso, and voila! So I have a few new patterns, and hopefully I'll pop some pictures, line drawings, etc. This one I did put on my Instagram stories yesterday is a blazer type jacket. I don't know how well you'll see, so I'll probably, as I say, insert. It's by Charlotte Emma Patterns and it's I really like it it reminds me of like a riding jacket in that it's really nipped in at the waist it's got a lovely collar and just like three buttons down the front and slanted sort of welt pockets I do have some fabric that I've been wanting to make jacket from and um, I'll just get that so I can I can show you I don't know if it's going to be all right for this I haven't looked through recommended fabrics yet but I'll just get that fabric and um, and show you what I'm talking about okay I may have to put a photo in because I'm not sure how well this will show up but it is this and it's a lovely um, it's like a wool type fabric but it's not wool it's really lovely and heavyweight which I think will make a lovely jacket I'm gonna open it all up I've got I think two three meters so if this doesn't show I'll put a photo but it's got I think you call it herringbone um, I think it was kind of tweedy with the way the the pink and white so it's a lovely sort of dusky rose pink and white and I think as a blazer type jacket that will look really smart and um, so yeah I'm hoping that will work with my new pattern so that's quite exciting obviously it's not anytime soon for two reasons. I've got the three projects I've already told you about. I've also got my dress coming up for the hashtag frugal frocks. Um, so it's it's on my list to do. <laughs> and the other patterns that I printed out yesterday are both from Pattern Union. 
I think she had a sale on and I'll have to say down below I'm fairly certain she had a sale on and that's why I had a browse I got a t-shirt called the Eva T as I say hopefully I'll insert photos so I've got that one printed out and I've got a skirt which I think I recall the lovely Michelle from Sewing Bunny I think she made the skirt up from I think she made it from a double gauze from the So Haley J I will check obviously I'll let you know and that one's called the Phoebe Maxi skirt so I've got that and then lastly even though I've got a A4 stuck together PDF of my everyday blouse from when I tested um, obviously I got a copy of the finished pattern from Alice at Stitched in Wonderland once I tested and so I've got that one printed out that was fantastic as I say only ordered yesterday received them today the other thing I mentioned I think in my Friday sews last week was that I'd had a little bit of a tidy round in my sewing room which as you'll recall meant <laughs> I couldn't find anything I found all the patterns <laughs> since I recorded that but I couldn't find them at the time what I did find however and um, I'm hoping I haven't missed the boat time scale wise was this amazing rain coat type fabric so it's it's waterproof and I think I got it from like so amazing I'll double check and let you know but obviously it's got this fabulous design of all these ladies with their umbrellas and I bought this originally to make a raincoat for my daughter that's why I'm saying I hope I haven't missed the boat because We've had some gorgeous sunny days, but it is Britain, so you need a raincoat pretty much all year round. <laughs> so I found that again. It's like, you know, it's like when you move house and you unpack your boxes at the other end when you've moved in and you suddenly find all these things again. It's like Christmas. <laughs> That's what it was like when I found this. And the plan was, and I apologise, I cannot remember where I got this, to line it with this gorgeous, I don't know how well it will show up, fleecy warm grey as a lining so it'll be a lovely and warm wet weather coat for my daughter. So the pattern I've got for this is the Buddy Buddy Jacket by Purpurita and the only issue I'm thinking at the moment is it goes I believe only up to a year 10. Now my daughter will be 10 in July but over the last few months she seems to have shot up so I may not go with that in the end in which case I'm thinking of going for the truffle coat and that's because I've seen the lovely Liz at the Baker That Sews and she's made the truffle coat I think few quite a few times she's made them for her two daughters and for herself and she did recommend it to me when I asked people so if I don't do the buddy buddy jacket then I will probably do the truffle coat so again that will be at some point when I do the jacket so yet more things to add to my list of things to do Thankfully, the UK have now come up with a date for the children to return to school. So I've only got one more week with them home and the homeschooling going on. So I'm hoping when they go back at the beginning of March that my sewing will pick up. There's no guarantee it will. <laughs> but, you know, I'll have more time theoretically to crack on with some of my projects. In the meantime, as I said, do have some fabrics. If you saw my Instagram at the beginning of the year, one of my resolutions for this year was to try and use fabrics from my stash a lot more than buying pretties when I see them. I failed miserably. <laughs> I've already bought lots of fabric this year and we're only in February. <laughs> but these were mostly from last year. And I just think I haven't shared them. I might well have shared them on Instagram when I got them, but I'm pretty sure I haven't shared them with you guys on YouTube. So. Uh, there are no particular order however this first one is the most recent and this is a lovely rib net and I just love the colours in this and I've got a feeling the lovely Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne had this as well from the rag shop and it's this gorgeous rib net here and oh yeah well as you know blue is my favourite colour so I have never made the Agnes top from Tilly and the Buttons. I know, I know, I can't believe it either. I've had the pattern for forever, but I'm thinking that that will make a really nice Agnes top. So I did get myself a couple of meters of that. And last year, also from the rag shop, after seeing a few people use this gorgeous viscose jersey, I bought this 
bundle. <laughs> so um, it is the softest, most gorgeous fabric, I think, for tops. And I bought four different colours, as you can see. I want to make the boxy top, I think it is. Um, I can't remember the name. Oh, I will have to put it here. It escapes me. But I've got the boxy top, which I've seen um, So What If I Sew. And she's made it, I'm fairly certain, in this rust-coloured viscose jersey. And I'm basically planning to do the same, but definitely some t-shirts in these gorgeous colours. So I got, I think, a metre and a half of each one of those so I can sew up some tops um, in these lovely viscose jerseys. Now, some of you may already know or purchase from a company called Wattle and Slate. They started last year with pre-orders. So they have a round and they put up, I don't know, between sort of, I think it's about eight different fabric lines that they've come up with. And then you pre-order and then obviously when you come in, when they come in, you get your order. So I cannot remember which rounds I bought which ones from, but this is for my daughter who loves foxes, I think. I'm terrible with fabric types. I think I got a bamboo jersey, but it's this gorgeous fox fabric. And um, she is gonna love that. I'm not totally sure what we're making with it yet, but we're just doing the, we're just doing the roundup of fabrics I've bought. And if I have plans for them, great. If not, they will just be added to my stash. <laughs> so I got foxes. I got this gorgeous, I call it an animal print. I don't know what you think and it's in this lovely blue and these are very gold the flex in the middle and I'm thinking of making myself some sort of loungewear with that not totally sure what yet I also got uh, oh I can't remember I think this might be the first one I got and this is oh sorry again I can't remember exactly what type I think it's like a French terry I can't remember the names of any of these, aren't I terrible? But it's got this gorgeous blue and um, sort of snowflake design going on. So I have that one. And then my last one is this gorgeous with these gold fleck sort of leaves and the, again, lovely greens and blues. And yeah, I do love Wattle and Slate. If you haven't heard of them or you haven't ordered from them, do go check them out. Um, their pre-orders are gorgeous. And I don't do a lot of working out. However, my plan is to use some of their athleisure, I think it's called, athletic wear. Because, um, yeah, they do it in these stunning designs. So when I do ever get back to working out, I want to make some really nice green style leggings with them. So just a couple more for my Friday Sews guys, because I want to actually get this uploaded today because it is Friday, it is half past four, so fingers crossed. <laughs> um, this one was from Felicity Fabrics. I got a 15% discount code from them, I believe. And this one, I hope it shows up again. I think I probably showed it on Instagram, but I've not shown it here. It's a really, obviously it's hard to show on camera because it's black, but it's a really fine needle cord in the black there I'm hoping that will show up and what I'd really like to make because I got I think two meters possibly I'd really like to make a um a pinafore I'm not sure which one yet I'm thinking maybe the bobby from Tilly and the Vattens and um if any of you remember my mustardy colored uh big puffy sleeved top that I made end of last year which hopefully I'll insert a photo I think a pinafore over the top of that in this needle cord would just be awesome so I do have a sort of plan for that one and my last one this one I've had quite a long time I think now but I stalked the lovely Susie at Threadquarters because she put a photo on Instagram stories of fabrics that she was going to be uploading and literally I just stalked her page until she did upload it because I wanted it so much <laughs> and it's this lovely stretch fabric in it's like a really really dark charcoal grey with these I hope you can see pink and white spots on it but what I love it's reversible and then got the pink and white stripes so 
I'm thinking something like, well, now I wasn't at the time because it hadn't come out, but maybe the Billy dress and I could do the um, the dress on one side and then the cuffs and the band could be the other. So I've got spots and stripes going on. Yeah, absolutely love, love that one. So as I said, I was supposed to not be buying fabrics this year. So hopefully I'll work on plans with <laughs> those fabrics. And now that I've got some fabulous new pattern, I can make up some to-do lists and stick to them rather than being tempted by the lovely fabrics that I often see on Instagram. And uh, yeah, just stick to my stash. I'm waffling, I do apologise. Stick to my stash, sew up one of the many patterns I already have. And hopefully when the kids are back at school, update you regularly. But I've done this one now, so hopefully this will go up today. So that will mean two weeks on the trot. I've managed to do a Friday sews and I hope to continue to do them each week because I really enjoy. Don't forget, if you just do the hashtag, hashtag Friday sews, and search you'll find all the other wonderful sewing vloggers and the lovely Jen from Jen Sewing Room who came up with the idea initially so yeah please do go check them out it's really great to have a little catch up with your favourite vloggers I know I do I do hope you liked my little catch up so as you can see I haven't done any actual sewing this week but I have got lots of patterns lots of fabric and plans and yeah I'm excited to see what I make up over the next few months and share here with you on my channel so I hope you have a wonderful day or evening, whatever you are doing, and I will catch you all in my next video.